Hey guys, it's Chris with Better Editor, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make some flash and glow effects inside of Premiere Pro, just like this. Okay, glow effects inside of Premiere Pro without plugins. Let's check this out. The first thing that I wanna show you is a very simple effect that's gonna go between this shot and this shot. So let's just watch what we have. Okay, right now it's a pretty harsh cut, but if we add a glow transition, this is gonna look much better. So how do we do that? First, run up to your file menu and say new and go to color matte. And now what I like to do is go ahead and drag it down to white, pull this into a yellowish area, and we're gonna grab something kind of around there. Okay, and we'll call this white matte. And then I'm gonna drag this on top of this edit. Now this clip is about a second long, so I'm gonna go ahead and center that up. So 12 frames, there we go. And now grab your pin tool, and I'm gonna put a keyframe directly above this cut. I'm gonna grab another keyframe, put it right there, and one more right here. So now if we scrub through this, we can see we have a pretty terrible transition, but we're about to take that through the roof. So let's go to effect controls with the white mat selected, go to normal under your blend modes and then select linear dodge add. This is the secret sauce. So right now this just instantly looks extremely white. Well, if we scrub through it, look what happens to all of our highlights. They're all blowing out and they look really, really cool. So now what we need to do is finesse this. So I personally think this is too bright. So I'm going to pull this down, I don't know, to about 64. That's pretty cool. And then I also like to add a good ease in and ease out to my effects. So we'll do this. That's looking good. We're going to make this real quick. And then I usually, just as a personal preference, like my glow to take a little longer to come out. So I'm going to come here and we'll drag it to, I don't know, there pull this over and then make that just ease look really good. Okay, let's play it through. Pretty cool, huh? Now what's nice is you can take this same principle and apply it to a clip without it being a transition. This is what I mean. So let's look at this clip itself. We're gonna drag this whole clip into the timeline. Okay, and then let's scale this up so that we fill up the whole frame. Great. So you can see this is a slow motion clip. Now let's say we want to add some more kind of just glow to this whole area over here. That's really easy to do by taking this white mat, dragging it all the way across the clip. We're going to go back to linear dodge. And then drop your opacity on this really low, like 15%, somewhere around there. And look at what that does to our color. See how it makes our highlights blow out and gives us this great atmosphere? And we can take it even a step further if we add an adjustment layer. And then add a slight Gaussian blur. Drag that to the adjustment layer. And we're gonna make this like 5% do that. So now we've got this pretty cool effect that goes over the entire clip. Now I wanna show you another way that we can make a glow effect that's even cooler than the first transition. And that's already pretty cool. So jump over here and I have another sequence. This one's a little more intense. Ouch. Okay, so let's do this. To make this even more awesome, we're going to do a zoom glow into this shot right here, right before this guy gets punched. So select this clip. Go over here and we're gonna find our transform effect, which might be my favorite effect in all of Premiere. Add it and go to the very end of your clip. We're gonna add a scale keyframe. And then let's drag this maybe four frames back here. Again, go to the end and we're gonna hit 200. Drag that to the end. Right click your first keyframe and say ease out. Twirl this down and then we're gonna make this ease super hard. All right, twirl this back up. And then the important thing, we're gonna come and turn off our use composition shutter angle. This is gonna turn on some motion blur for us. So now under shutter angle, type 360. 
And when we do that, look at this awesome zoom effect that we get on this clip. So let's just play that through. So it already looks pretty cool. And we could speed that up if we think it's too slow by pulling it in here. And so that would reduce us down to about three keyframes between this one and this one. Oh yeah, that looks good. Now, the secret sauce is we're gonna duplicate this clip, come here, and we're gonna cut it about one frame before our first keyframe, and go up to our opacity and change this to linear dodge. And again, it's blowing out all of our highlights. Look how cool that looks. And now, I think it's a little too strong to come on like this, so I'm gonna give it a slight transition. I'm gonna make this three frames and play it through. Yeah. Okay, and if we really wanna sell it, we're gonna do the same thing on this clip. So we go into a zoom and out of a zoom. So in here, again, add your transform effect, and we're gonna start at 200. Actually, no, we're not gonna start at 200. We're gonna start at 100, go forward three frames, and we're gonna jump in about 120. So it's gonna be super tight. And we'll say ease in, and same thing. We're gonna make this a really hard ease just like that. Go down to our composition shutter angle, turn it off, make this 360. And we've got some awesome little zoom in there. Now I wanna show you something funny that happened here. So this zoom, it actually happened over in this corner because that's where the middle of the clip is because this is a very wide clip. So to get around that, what we can do is we're gonna take off our transform effect and we're gonna grab an adjustment layer. Come in here, and same thing, let's add our transform effect to the adjustment layer and do the exact same process. So we're gonna say scale 100, one, two, three, make this about 120, cool, ease in, make that really hard, come here, turn our shutter angle off and add this to 360. And look at that, we've got this awesome zoom right here at the beginning. And again, if we wanna go ahead and give that a little bit of a glow, we can. Let's just see how this looks first. Nice. To get that glow, we can move this adjustment layer up, go ahead and duplicate this clip, and we'll drag it down to about four frames or so, and do the exact same thing. If I can grab this clip, and watch it play. We need to go all the way to the end of here. Here we go. That's some pretty cool stuff. No plugins necessary. I hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope that you can drop these glow effects into whatever you make and use them all the time. Until then, don't forget to subscribe. See ya.